Hi, this is Jack Stanley, and I wanted to talk about the famous recording of General J.J. Pershing that was done on Nations Forum Records, one of the earliest releases on Nations Forum. And this was a project of recording important and uh, influential people on record during that period of 1917 up to about 1920. I'm going to do a video all about Nations Forum later, so I'm not going to get into it right now. But the famous recording of General Pershing was made, well, if we look at the record, it says it was made in the battlefields of France. That's not true. It was recorded in London, England, but uh, it sounds nicer to say that where the general is and where the army is and where everyone's fighting. And so the recording was produced and was very popular. I want to show you an example of it right here. Let you see the label. Nations Forum. And if you look carefully underneath, you will see he signed the wax saying Pershing. But you'll also notice there's very little said on this record. Maybe, let's say, 25 seconds he spoke. That's all he needed to say, I guess. On the other side, of course, is James W. Gerard, who was our ambassador to Germany uh, before the war and during the war to a degree until 1917. And he made a recording called Loyalty, which is very, very different from the tenor of the general's uh, recording. And he talks about German-Americans living here in the United States and he said, anyone that is loyal to the Kaiser should be hogtied and hung by a pole. In fact, he said that no animal yells, kicks, and bites harder than a fat German-American when told he was going back to the Kaiser and the fatherland. Well, that's a product of the time. That's the way things were in 1917, 1918, during this stupid war called World War I, which had no real reason to be being fought at all anyway. There were no bad guys. Sadly, World War I would lead to a great deal of death and mayhem and be basically the pilot plant for World War II. 